up guys so today um, I've got to replace the fan switch on the probe because it has a um, the fan switch the tab for it that actually goes to the switch is faulty um, I don't know if you can see it in the video but it's really loose whereas here's a good used fan switch which uh, has a nice strong tab on it it's still in good shape good shape so I'm going to be pulling the fan switch out of here, trying not to spill as much coolant as I can, because I'm not going to drain the coolant, and uh, then put the new one in. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, this is in preparation of starting street tuning next week, which is for sure happening. So bear with me here. I know it's been kind of a slow process, but... It's just a uh, part of the tuning process, so I'm going to back this out and kind of try and apply pressure to it and then get the other one in as fast as I can to prevent as much leaking as I can. Just like that. Just a little squirty squirt. Nothing too serious. And boom! That's it. Fan switch has been replaced that quickly. So... Just gotta tighten it down. Gotta throw the wire on. It's tucked here behind this vacuum line. Shabam! We're good to go. This is the old fan switch. As you can see, that's not good. The tab's all bent up. And uh, pretty much ready to fall off of here so the fans would come on and not work intermittently. You can see that gap there and how that's just really loose and it's not supposed to be like that. So uh, now the new fan switch is on. And uh, this Betty is ready to go. I've got to grab a rag to clean my hands real quick. Bear with me. So now I just got to clean up the little bit of uh, coolant that squirted all over the place. You don't want to leave coolant around a hot turbocharger that is going to be at very hot temperatures when we start tuning. Just want to clean it off of the surfaces that are going to be in direct contact with the turbo. If it's sprayed out of the exhaust or anything. So now that's done and I'm going to check the oil. Make sure we have sufficient oil because you don't want to start tuning if she's low. And we are full. So this Betty already has new spark plugs and new wires. New cap rotor and distributor. Now it's got a new fan switch. It's got a new coolant temperature sensor. So she is definitely ready to uh, start some tuning. So um, if you like this video, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share. I know it's a short one, but uh, it's the little things like this which you do in preparation for tuning. And, um, uh, it's got to be done. It can be slightly monotonous and boring, but you want to have your car top of the line before you start doing any tuning so that you don't end up having issues you have to sort out along the way when you're paying somebody to tune. You make sure that the car is ready. So I've already checked the trans fluid. The timing belt's good. Uh, no fuel leaks or anything like that. Got the heat shield back on the manifold. Got the new fan switch in. Got a new coolant temperature sensor in. The TPS is now wired correctly. The uh, coolant temperature sensor is now wired correctly. Um, so, yeah, intake air temperature sensor is wired correctly. Everything is ready to go. So, I hope you guys stay tuned and uh, definitely let me know if you like this video. Uh, comment, and I'll talk to you guys later.